Well, folks, it's Rod with Win by Doing sitting here reporting from the Arctic Circle. Don't let me see out there. Mountains of snow in the background. I'm just kidding. Well, just a second. Let me turn that music down just a little bit. It is freaking cold today. Not cover up the camera with my hand. I'm sitting in my truck, so bear with me. Anyway, it is freaking cold. I think it's six degrees here in North Idaho, and the wind's blowing, and the snow is slowly coming down. If you saw that recent, uh, I posted recently about the weather. Yesterday we had um, snow showers, well, snow, we had rain, we had thunderstorms, and we had a little bit of clear sky to close out the day. I wake up this morning, it is freaking cold. Well, what I'm doing today is kind of bright and early this morning. I need to deal with all that via trading clothing. And funny, I could not find our steamer. Of course, we started, we've started packing early. So I'm going to be honest, I probably couldn't tell you where it was before we started packing stuff up. But today I'm going out and getting a better steamer. The one I had was just a little handheld. So I'm going to get me a steamer so I can start prepping the clothes that I picked up from Via Trading and get those started listed. Just an update on the flea market yesterday. The weather was terrible and that reflected on how many people actually attended. So attendance was pretty low. I did okay. And I say okay. I made it I made a little bit. You know, I I in in sales I think I was only at 185ish. And then you figure uh, taking care of tax out of that, taxes and sales tax. So there's 6% out of it plus uh, $65 for the booth. You know, I I really I made uh, I'd have to go back and count everything that I did in profit over the cost of goods. But, you know, a lot of stuff that I sold yesterday, I sold some cars, you know, little die cast cars. I sold some, a few LP, some vinyl. I sold some movie DVDs. Uh, I got my money back on a, a, leather or uh, fur coat that I had purchased broke even on that but for the most part everything was uh, I didn't really have any money into but still I it wasn't a super great day but at least I didn't lose money the one um, positive of the whole situation I ended up because of the cold weather the person that had the two spots right in front of the door they had worn shorts and didn't want to be sitting in front of that door. So they asked me if I wanted those spots. I said, heck yeah, I'll take the ones. I'll be in a booth that everybody sees when they first come in the door. So I picked them up. And what that basically did was later on when they started coming through with the applications for May, they asked, the, I got first choice of those spots. So come May, they... Uh, I'll be the first one when pe people see when they open the door, which I think is that I think that's pretty good. In my mind, it's pretty good, but hey, I'm a flea market noob, so what the hell do I know, right? Anyway, I am, um, I say May, it's, they're not able to have the flea market in March and April because of scheduling conflicts, because they're fairly new at the fairgrounds. Uh, they have, they're kind of at the bottom of the list, so to speak. So they did secure, from my understanding, May, June, July, and August. So there's four months that I'll be doing flea markets in the future. But I got my spot. Anyway, it wasn't, it, it was a lot of fun. I enjoy it, I think, being secluded most of the time. I enjoy the interaction with other people. Now, I was excited that I didn't lose money. I was excited that I made a little money and I was able to actually pay for the next entrance for the next flea market. 
But my wife and I were having a discussion, and we, she's like, you know, it, you got to kind of put it in perspective, where, and this is what this is. I'm just going to touch just briefly on this. When people talk about can you make money or can you make a living on eBay, it really is perspective. Personally, I could not. Let, let me go back. L to me, living, making a living is a uh, direct correlation to your comfort and lifestyle or the lifestyle that you perceive as your comfort level. I personally could not replace my current lifestyle with eBay. I may get there, but right now it's 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 just not there for me. Um, but my lifestyle today is a lot more expensive than it was 20 years ago, or I guess I should say 30 years ago when I was first starting out in life after high school, where I could have, you know, lived on a lot less, but, you know, with a family and, um, you know, having a salary job that has, that pays what it does, it would be right now, it's, it, it would be hard to, I guess it would be, it would just, it would just take a lot more effort on my part to bring my eBay business up to that level. So why do I do it? I, I do do it. And I, I kind of have transitioned and looking at it as just a part-time job it, it is it is kind of it's a hobby for me i enjoy doing i enjoy sourcing i enjoy talking with people when i'm doing the flea markets i enjoy the whole ebay process whether it be taking pictures whether it be listing shipping packing i i enjoy it but not only that i look i'm, I'm looking at this as a fallback on i want to take the time now and learn as much as I possibly can before it become, has to become my full-time job. That way, if I do ever lose my job, because I work in corporate America, jobs in corporate America are not... Uh, they're not secure anymore. So, I do this so that I will... I. By the time it comes to where I have to make a transition into something else, I will already be ahead of the game and be able to fall back on this as a as a full-time job. But it doesn't mean that I'm not trying different things to try to become even more successful and build my eBay business. Because if I ever did find that magic success or that key um, to you know, a very successful eBay store, it could lead to me deciding to move on from my day job. Anyway, so just when you see people talking about, I guess what, what it boils down to, when you see people talking about, can you make a living off of eBay? It really, it's going to, it's going to be a conversation that you have with yourself, with your spouse or a significant other to determine what is needed or how much is needed to make a living. And then you'll know the direction that you need to, then you can set goals to, for your eBay, you know, reselling to make sure that you reach those goals. So making a living is going to be a little bit different for everybody. So, but anyway, I am... They kind of put it in perspective with my with me when my wife said, "You know what? You you're pretty excited when you you make my, make a you know a couple hundred dollars today, and it wasn't really that much because I after after you know figuring in the booth and the the taxes, where other people would be very disappointed." Because we're not in the position that we need that money, you know. We're we're look we we have a completely different outlook. Um, and I'm not I'm not wealthy by any means, but uh, I'm not dependent on that flea market day to 
put food in my tummy to support my wife and my daughter. It's it's not needed. So, I mean, it kind of hit home a little bit with me because I, I do know that there was a time when I would need that $200 to uh, pay my electric bill or, or buy groceries or... I've been there, so it, it, it really um, it really got me thinking last night after she had had said that. So I just wanted to touch on a little bit. I, I know I'm sitting here rambling in a Wally World Walmart parking lot, but uh, those are my thoughts for the day. Outside of the fact that it's freaking cold outside, damn. I mean, you can see the winds just blowing. I don't know if you saw that in the in the opening video, but the the wind is just it's blowing the snow. But I think that's going to be it for today. I will catch y'all later. Peace out.